crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi everyone. Um, I'm here today to change Maisie and we are starting something new for the next little while. Um, we are calling this Twinning Tuesday and so every Tuesday for the next little while Maisie here is going to be twinning with her cousin Macy on Nicole's channel on her auntie Nicole's channel. So Nicole's channel is my reality with Nicole. I'll link it in the description below and over the past few months um, we have bought a lot of the same outfits for our babies. Now um, some of them will be fitting Maisie and some of the other ones I've bought in a newborn size for my other babies. So um, Nicole's Macy is a is also a Maisie sculpt by Andrew Arcello. Um, so today we'll be having the same sculpts twinning and they are both going to be wearing this adorable unicorn romper and this is one that I did not purchase. Nicole actually surprised me with this one in um, the package that she sent. If you saw the box opening of that, um, she I had got purchased some things from the U.S. and had them all shipped to her so that I could save on shipping overall by getting it all like shipped in one box and <clears throat> she ended up spoiling me and sending a few surprise goodies along with them and this was one of them so I'm anxious to get it on Maisie and then also she sent this unicorn pacifier to match it. I haven't modified it yet um, but it's funny um, a few weeks ago when Paula, Marilyn, Diana, and I had our first doll day since this whole pandemic happened and shutdowns happened. Um, we, we got, we finally, after three months, maybe almost four months, finally got to get together because um, here in Ontario, they are allowing um, gatherings of 10 or less people indoors or outdoors. And, um, as long as you distance so that's what we did and um, they came over here and we had a wonderful day and it was so nice to finally see them but I was telling them about how I have a lot of pacifiers that I haven't modified yet and that I've actually been considering not modifying them because a lot of the times lately I don't use pacifiers very much with my reborns anymore just because a lot of them have such a beautiful facial expression that I actually hate to cover up their face with a pacifier. The only time I tend to use a pacifier I find is if I've put my reborn in a sleeper because I feel like, oh, you know, they're in their jammies, they're going to bed and they'll have their pacifier going to sleep kind of deal. Um, so for now, I'm leaving this unmodified and I'm just going to be using it as an accessory. And I mean, you know, they look more realistic um, when you have them pinned uh, on their clothes on a pacifier clip. They, it looks more realistic to have the actual nipple there than to have it cut off with a magnet attached. Um, so this I'm going to, this is a, um, a pacifier clip that her Auntie Angela made her. Um, she made one for all of my babies with their names on it. And it just so happened that her pacifier clip is pink which the unicorn pacifier is also pink and the unicorn on the romper has pink in its mane so it just it worked out perfectly and also the the unicorn on the pacifier 
its face, um, like the, the nose and mouth area, is a turquoise color just like the romper. So it really coordinated very well. So I'm going to be getting her out of her Canada Day outfit. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I did put her into an outfit for 4th of July just to take a picture and to wish all of our American friends happy 4th of July. Um, but she's back in her Canada outfit. Um, so I didn't make a video of that. I didn't even, I didn't think of it. It was sort of like a last minute thing that it just kind of crept up on me that it was the weekend. And I was like, oh shoot, we didn't do, um, it's like the 4th of July now and we haven't done a, a photo. So she wore um, her little red, white, and blue popsicle dress. So go check it out on Instagram if you haven't. Um, I'm Life with Crystal on Instagram as well, so very easy to find. Um, and I've... I believe I did a video of her of changing her into that dress like a few years back and I think it was for cool treats um, it was either a theme Thursday or a theme of the week I can't remember and funny enough that video um, way back uh, like I would say over a year ago it was when YouTube started doing that whole um, advertiser friendly nonsense. Um, they demonetized that video for some weird reason. Even though I had many other videos just like it that were monetized. So I remember at the time I had requested a manual review of the video and I requested it more than once because the f after the first time like I saw that the video still wasn't monetized and I was like what the heck and I kept emailing YouTube and saying like look at this video is not anything different from what I usually do on my channel I don't understand what the problem is with it and they couldn't give me an answer they're just like well you know it's been reviewed and blah 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 and so anyways all of a sudden really weird um I would say about two weeks ago I got an email from YouTube saying that the video had been approved for monetization and I was like what like it's literally been it's literally been I would say over a year now maybe even almost two years since I had requested that manual review. So I was like, okay, so what all of a sudden changed? Like, I don't understand. But anyways, the monetization is back on it, but it's like <laughs> any money I could have made on that video over the last two years, <laughs> I got nothing. So that was kind of weird and frustrating, but that was the video that she was, um, that I first put her in that dress. So, <laughs> I guess I could link to that video if I can find it. Um, I can link to it in the description for you guys so that if you don't have Instagram, you can see her in that dress. Oh, wow. I, for some reason, thought this romper was going to be a little too big on her, but it actually fits her perfectly it's perfect Nicole um it just had looked large to me like when I looked at it but it's actually perfect wow it's so cute okay I'm gonna put this on <sighs> so yeah I'm I'm back to work I've been back to work for well since June 1st and uh, it's going well. I was really nervous that um, little guy wouldn't remember me because it's been like three months. <laughs> uh, 
but he saw me and he had all smiles and he immediately was fine with me it was like it was like I had never been away so <laughs> that was really great and um, it, it's funny like his mom was like does he look different to you or does he look bigger and I said honestly like maybe a little taller but and and more hair he had more hair um because he was quite the baldy when I met him but I said otherwise like I didn't notice that big of a change surprisingly but all of a sudden since I started back it was actually just yesterday that we were playing and I just suddenly like realized that he's looking more grown up now like he's looking a little bit older to me like he is um let's see he was one years old when I he had just turned one when I started so let's see what is, I'm trying to think how old he is I think he's 16 months old now February March April May June yeah, he's 16, almost 17 months, um, and it just dawned on me, because I took a picture of him yesterday, we were playing with, I brought um, these, like, frogs, like, toy frogs, turtles, um, snakes, lizards, like, it was, like, reptiles and amphibians. And I took a picture of him playing with them and it was like when I got home and I was looking at the picture I was like wow like he really in his face like his face looks a little more mature and I mean like he's as mature as a 60 month old can look but I'm just saying like compared to when I started like he had more of a baby face and now he's got more of like a little boy face um I don't know like I just realized like wow like he has grown a lot um so that was interesting but and then I just noticed too that this pacifier clip has a little I don't know it's, if it's going to come up on camera because I can't zoom in but it has like a little owl bead on it which is super cute it's like a combination of silicone beads there's a gold bead and then there's like some some like they look kind of like glass just like the owl but I, I'm sure they're not glass but it looks almost like a pink pearl um, there's like a wooden bead and then there's another one that's like a pearl so yeah the the owl looks like it's sort of like a glass material too but I'm sure it's not it's just got that glossy coating um, but yeah it's it's super cute so Here's Miss Maisie twinning with her cousin Macy. And um just trying to get her so you can see her face better. Oh guys, it is so hot here. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible so I can get the fan back on. I don't like to run the fan when I'm making videos because in the past when I've done that, um, then it just like it blows in the camera microphone and it sounds like there's wind and all that stuff it's awful so yeah we're just trying to we are in a major heat wave like it was hot all last week this week and even into next week like I don't it's like there's no end in sight for this heat um we got spoiled last summer. Last summer was a pretty uh, okay summer. There wasn't too many hot, humid days. But this summer has just been brutal so far. And when you don't have AC, it's like, what the heck? And we keep trying, like every year, I try to look into some sort of air conditioning option for us. Um, like we've considered portable AC units. Um, but all of them, the hose is too short to reach our basement windows because obviously basement windows are always high up. As well as the portable ACs are like 
huge things like they're really big and take up a lot of space and we don't have like where we need where we really need the air conditioning is like the living room and kitchen area because that's where we spend most of our time um at least I do like Alex is mostly in the office at the computer but like our thought is like the only windows we have are the bathroom window, the bedroom window, and the office window, which I'm in the office right now, and the window is, um, above Maisie is a shelf, and then above the shelf is our window. Um, so, you know, like, our thing was, like, we, you know, we already have, like, we don't have much sunlight in here, um, so we didn't want to block a window, but I was like, you know what, like half the time we keep the, uh, blinds down in our bedroom window. We always keep that closed. So like we never have the natural sunlight coming in our bedroom. But the thing is, is like, there's no room in our bedroom for a portable, uh, a portable AC because it would be on my side of the bed because that's where the window is, and there's, like, barely any walking space for me <laughs> to get out. So if there was, like, a big AC unit sitting there, like, I would have to crawl over the bed to get out of bed. Um, so that wouldn't work. Plus, I don't think the cool air would reach the rest of the apartment, because, like, there's a door in our bedroom and it would have to basically like go out the door and around the corner for the living room so we have no window in the living room or kitchen to put that in um i guess we could do the bathroom window but again it's like then what like there's really no room in the bathroom either um and then it would be like, for the longest time we had our fan plugged in the bathroom. And then if we had company over, we would always have to unplug the fan so they could go into the bathroom and close the door. Well, so anyways, we just realized that we had a free power, like a power plug behind our TV. We had a free one. We thought we had used up the whole power bar, but there was still one slot left. So now we have that plugged in there so we don't have to like keep unplugging it to use the bathroom. But, you know, if we would have the AC in the bathroom, like that would be the whole situation again. Um, the only place we could do the portable AC is probably in our door window because I've seen a friend of mine did that with their balcony door. Um, they put a portable AC in there, but then that means like we would have to disconnect it if we're going outside, like even just to like throw garbage out and come back, we'd have to unhook it and like all this stuff. So it's just like, it's not practical. Um, and then window units are, I believe our windows are too small. Like, we would need a vertical unit first off and my mom has a vertical unit and it's huge so I don't think I mean I don't know if they sell them that small to get in um, the windows I don't know um, so the uh, only thing we've just recently learned about is split like ductless mini split air conditioners but that would be like a permanent installation. So that would mean that our landlord would have to like okay it and basically probably pay for it because like if we were to move, it would stay here. Uh, so we're trying to think about how we could possibly like try to get our landlord on board with giving us that. Um, the only thing is like we're dealing with that bathtub issue right now and I had actually canceled um, them coming because I did not I did not feel comfortable with them being here while we weren't here but then when we read up more about it we realized like we can't be here anyways COVID or not because of the fumes and same with, with Riley like Riley can't be here. So, um, so we've rescheduled it. Uh, well, our landlord's going to reschedule it and we're just waiting for the new date for that to get the tub refinished. And so what we're going to do is it turns out Alex's grandma, she's been staying with Alex's aunt through this whole COVID. Um, 
So her house is currently empty and so Alex's dad was like, just go stay there. Like, go stay at your grandma's house. So we'll be staying there probably two nights. We'll probably go the night before unless it turns out that um, they're going to book it on a day that both of us are off. Then we'll probably just leave early in the morning to head over there to the house and stay overnight and come back the next day but um it'll be interesting to see like how Riley is in the house um there's stairs and stuff so <laughs> I don't know um and then yeah and she doesn't have AC either I think she just has a window unit on the main floor or something like that so that'll be fun and she has cable which we hate cable like ever since we got rid of cable like we just download stuff and we don't have to deal with watching commercials and everything so like we're like oh but it'll only be for like one or two nights um of course she doesn't have internet either so it's gonna be like what the heck but um if it turns out being on like a day that uh I have to work or something um, I'll be closer to work. I'll be much closer to work. So it'll be a shorter commute for me that day, which will be nice. Um, so we're just waiting on that date. So it's like, uh, he's already going to be spending money on this tub refinishing. And then we're going to like try to ask him about the AC and like we've looked into it and like these AC units are like around a thousand to like two thousand range. And then you have to pay for someone to like professionally install it. So we're like, yeah, I don't know how we're going to go about that um, since he's just gonna be spending money on our tub. I don't know, but we really need AC because like I, I am very heat intolerant. Um, the humidity, I have trouble breathing and I start to feel nauseous. Um, I start to get shaky and dizzy. Like I can't deal. So it's actually been nice that I'm back to work because they have AC at work. So I get a break and I think soon I'm going to be, I think as of next week, I'll be back to my regular hours. So I'll be working Monday, Wednesday, Friday again. So I'll get three days out of the week where I can be in air conditioning. <laughs> it's so awful, but um anyways, we're managing. We have two fan we have two big tower fans and we have a f another fan in the office um that's pretty powerful. So we just during the day we have both fans hitting the living room area and then at night the biggest fan um goes into the bedroom cuz our old tower fan was is kind of short and our mattress is high so like when we got that new mattress like our old fan wasn't hitting us at night so last summer my mom bought us an early Christmas gift and got us this taller tower fan so now it hits us in the bedroom so we have that in the bedroom at night and then we move it to the living room during the day along with our old fan and then Alex has if he's in the office here he's got the other fan going but like just these just these what I've is probably like 15 20 minutes now I've been doing this video I am like sweating buckets so anyways that's what's going on with us and there's Miss Maisie looking so cute let's see if we can zoom in there she is and so you can see that her name is here on the pacifier clip and you can kind of see the owl there and there's her unicorn Passy I'll have her hold it <laughs> it's hard to do this okay wait it's upside down there there we go Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out Nicole's channel and see her baby wearing the same outfit. You guys can't even see the unicorn. I just realized it's on this side. But anyway, go check out Nicole's channel. It's My Reality with Nicole and it's linked in the description below. 
and uh, tune in next Tuesday to see what other outfits uh, our babies are going to be matching. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.